The final game on the sidelines for John Clausen almost never was. I went through some health issues and I didn't even think I could finish the last year coaching. And I had a team that I thought would go all the way, which we almost did, because I was worried I wouldn't be able to be up to the task to benefit these kids. My son, he looks at me, he says, Dad, you've been my coach the whole time. You're not, you're not quitting. And he stormed out of the room. <laughs> In 2004, Clausen guided the Garden Valley Zodiacs to a runner-up finish for the 4A Varsity Boys High School Provincial Championship. It was the end of a legendary coaching run that spanned two decades. He could run some, some pretty tough practices and, and you would uh, feel good that, that you made it through and, and some of that can be carried on to life is when it gets a little bit tough. But you just know a little bit how to handle it because you've practiced a few things with adversity and toughness in a game so hopefully in real life and, and that carries with you. Before moving up to the 4A level, Clausen and the Zodiacs captured the 3A title three times including two in a row in 1992 and 93. In 1990 history was made as the Zodiacs won their first ever 2A championship and Clausen was named coach of the year. That first provincials and, and those teams prior to those first provincials even kind of set the bar for, for Winkler basketball and, and he is the main reason for that. Clausen made contributions to growing the sport at the grassroots level, establishing the Winkler Minor Basketball Association. It started from humble beginnings in 1993 started off just in a small gym at J.R. Walkoff, just one gym. Then over the years it evolved to the point where we needed to use multiple gyms, like as many as four or five different gyms in an evening. So it's something that started as like maybe an hour once or twice a week has grown into this large kind of phenomenon that happens every spring. We are proud to induct John Clausen as a member of the class of 2021 into the Manitoba Basketball Hall of Fame.